we have a, b, and c being distinct positive real numbers, all greater than 1. And we have log of log base a of c squared of log base b of a being negative 3 halves. And log base c of b minus log base a of c is 2. Now, we have three variables, but we only have two equations. So what do we have to find? I'm guessing we cannot calculate a, b, and c precisely because the number of equations we have is less than the number of variables we have. And we wish to find the remainder when log base a of b to the 28th times c to the 29th is divided by 1000. So even if we cannot find exact values of a, b, and c, Maybe we can find a relationship between perhaps A and B and A and C that's going to allow us to evaluate this. And before I go on, I want to recognize F. Marco F. Marco, who was the very first person to correctly answer this weekly math challenge with the answer of 182. And F. Marco F. Marco got the first place, the very first person to answer the challenge two weeks two weeks in a row, and I don't think this has ever happened before. So I want to give F. Marco F. Marco a very special recognition. Congratulations. Anyway, we are going to endeavor to obtain 182 as well. Let's start with the more complex equation, the first one. We have log base log base a of c squared of log base b of a being negative 3 halves. Let's write this in exponential form so it is easier to see what's going on. So let's write this in ex exponential form because in logarithmic form, the equation is very complex. So we have in exponential form log base a of c squared raised to negative 3 halves power. So this thing to the negative 3 halves power is log base b of a. And of course, we can write this as log base a of c to the negative third power is log base b of a. Now, we want to somehow connect this equation and the second equation given to us. And we see, we see right away that log base a of c is present in both of the equations. And we also have log base c of b present in the second equation that we have to somehow forcibly generate inside this equation if we want to make the connection between these equations. And how can we? So we wish to somehow insert somehow insert log base c of b into this equation somehow and get rid of log base b of a. And one way of doing so is by using the change of base property of logarithm. We know from our algebra class that log base c of b is log base a of b over log base a of c. And we see that log base a of c is present right here. And we have something very similar to log base a of b on the right side. So maybe this is the way to go. And as you may know, 1 over log base b of a gets us log base a of b. It simply flips. And the proof is very easy. So I'll prove it quickly. Using change of base, we know log base a of b is log base b of b over log base b of a. In this case, new base is b. So we have log base b of b over log base b of a. And of course, log base b of b is 1. And we have log base b of a. So that's the proof pretty quick. So now, do you have any suggestions on what we have to do to this equation to get log base c of b? Remember that we want to have log base a of b over log base a of c to get log base c of b. And one easy way of doing so is by taking the reciprocal of both sides, doing 1 over log base a of c to the negative 3 and 1 over log base b of a because we know 1 over log base b of a is going to get us log base a of b as we want. So let's do so. So from this, from this we get log base a of c cubed, now it's a positive 3, this negative is going to go up and flip itself, is equal to log base a of b, and we can divide both sides by log base a of c. To get log base a of c squared is log base a of b over log base a of c as we wish, and we have log base c of b, log base c of b. So we have this equation. Now all we have to do is to connect this equation. So let me 
let me box this, to the second equation given to us. So instead of writing log base C of B and log base A of C, let's say log base A of C, log base A of C is x. Then log base C of B from this equation is x squared. From this equation, we know x squared is log base C of B. And we know from this equation that log base C of B, and of course log base C of B is x squared minus minus log base A of C is 2, and log base A of C is x. So we know this thing is equal to 2. So what is the value of x? Well, x squared minus x minus 2 is 0. So x minus 2 times x plus 1 is 0. So x is 2 or negative 1. But can it be negative 1? Is it possible for log base A of C, which is x, to be negative 1? Well, if log base A of C was negative 1, then we would have log base, we would have log base 1. We would have log base 1 of log base B of A because log base A of C is negative 1. By definition, logarithm space has to be a positive integer greater than 1. So we cannot have log base 1. So log base A of C cannot be negative 1. This is extraneous. And of course, another way of seeing it is by realizing that a, b, and c has to be all greater than 1. So if, if log base a of c was negative 1, then a to the negative first power is c, or 1 over a is c. And of course, when a is greater than 1, then c is going to be less than 1. So we are going to have contradiction. But really, this information given to us, all greater than 1 is superfluous. We don't really need this information. But you can use this to quickly deduce it as well. Anyway, so we know, we know log base A of C or X is 2. And of course, log base C of B, which is X squared, is 4. Now, what can we do with this information? We want to find log base A of B to the 28 tenths. So we want to find log base A of B to the 28 tenths times C to the 29 tenths. And of course, we can split this like this, log base A of C to the 29 tenths and bring the exponent out as coefficients. So we can have 2018 log base A of B, log base A of B, plus 2019 log base A of C. And we know, we know log base A of C, so we simply have to find log base A of B. And the easy way of doing so is to by just multiplying these together. So we have log base A of C times log base C of B. And by chain rule for logarithm, the intermediate values are going to cancel out. So we're going to have log base A of B, which is of course 8. 2 times 4, another way of getting log base A of B, is by doing A squared C and C to the fourth is B, writing both of these in exponential form. And by substituting C equals to A squared, we get a to the a's power is b, and from this we know log base a of b is 8. So you can choose your favorite method. So we have 2018 times 8 plus 2019 times 2. And of course, we want to find the remainder when we divide by 1000. So we know we want to find this expression mod 1000, which is 18 times 8 plus 19 times 2 which is 144 plus 38, also known as 182. So the final answer to this question, the final answer to this question is 182.